But right now, let's toss it over to my colleague, Shino Lishudo, who's live in East Providence, where Secretary Buttigieg started his day, and a lot of his visit, Shino, was talking to local leaders about the impacts. That's right. And a lot of those conversations really happened right here in this area behind me. This is where the tour started. Right now, we are in East Providence off the Ton Avenue ramp that, of course, right now is closed. Officials took the secretary right to the area of that bridge that ultimately led to the shutdown. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for lining up. I heard you had a good breakfast this morning. <laughs> sure did. Yeah. Together. Following a one-on-one -on -one meeting with East Providence Mayor Bob De Silva, we went to Francesca's though in on Broadway. Come on. It was nice. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg meets up with many of Rhode Island's leaders on the Washington Bridge. We're going to be working closely with RIDOT. We have been every step of the way. Perhaps the most action this stretch has seen since the abrupt closure on December 11th. Welcome to Rhode Island. Thank you. I think staff We're going to build a bridge. We're here to help. Yeah. Right out Director Peter Alviti leading the tour, giving the nation's top transportation official a first-hand look. This is also the first time a TV camera has been allowed to take a close-up look at the work zone, where engineers ultimately found deficiencies. We're going to build it. Let's get this done. We're on now. Uh, part of the cantilever structure that uh, we found the defects in. While congressional leaders help paint a picture of the traffic impacts Rhode Islanders see every day. This goes right through the middle of downtown. During rush hour, the backups are pretty bad. We've got three hospitals in Providence with emergency rooms all on that side. But seriously, thank you so much for coming around. And as the tour comes to an end, the westbound side of the bridge returns to the state we've all become familiar with, a ghost town. And uh, he was very receptive to the way that we're going to move forward with it. And uh, I'm sure we'll be having more and more discussions about the funding, which is the next most important topic on this, right? And tonight we're told the transportation secretary was able to talk to the mayors in both Providence and East Providence, their conversations focusing on traffic, of course, and small businesses. Both remain a major concern for local leaders here. Reporting live in East Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.